All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about um, inserting the SIM card um, into your Max Transit Duo router. Um, this is the router, again, that comes with our Work From Rome package. So this is our high-end router, dual um, modems, and you can put up to four SIM cards in the box. So we did a video earlier, um, you can check out that video, it kind of talks about unpacking the, the equipment and, and what's, in the, what's in the package. But once you uh, are ready to put your SIM card in, you will need a Phillips screwdriver. So um, that's the only tools you'll, you'll need. But because this is ruggedized, everything's screwed together and so forth. But on the very back, there's a little um, door here with two screws in it. And that's where you put the SIM cards in. So you need to remove those two screws. They're pretty small screws. Just make sure you're over like a nice flat surface so you don't lose them somewhere. Otherwise, you'll be like me and trying to chase them down. So, so once that comes off, now you'll see that they'll have two different SIM card slots here. There's SIM card slot one, which is this section here, and SIM card slot two. So this is modem one and modem two. Like I mentioned, that you can put up to four SIM cards on this. So the way that this works is you have SIM card slot A on the top of the two modems and SIM card slot B on the bottom of the two modems. So if you look at the way that this little diagram is on your SIM card, you will need a nano sized SIM card. So if you're going to your provider and you're trying to get a SIM card, you need it to be the nano size, which is the very smallest size that's available um, on the market. If for some reason they give you a larger SIM card, you'd have to get some kind of SIM card punch tool to be able to cut it down to size, um, which is can be a little scary because the nanos are, if you look at how small this thing is, it's literally the same size as the circuit board on the card. So you wanna make sure that if you're trying to punch them out, you mess, don't mess it up or you have to go get another SIM card, right? So most providers, when you buy SIM cards now, they have what they call multi-punch cards. So they come in different sizes. We, matter of fact, just got one from Ryzen or from 8 um, T-Mobile the other day and it was a multi-punch. So we were able to use whatever size you need. So anyway, so, so if you have a single SIM card, you're putting that in, you wanna probably put that in slot A. You could put it in A or B, but I recommend putting it in slot A, the top slot. And again, if you hold the card, just like the picture is in here where the little, um, the little notch is up there, up there to that angle, and it matches just like the picture, then you should just be able to slide it directly into the slot. Another helpful hint is the circuit board is actually in the center of this. So if you think about the fact that you want the gold, the plating here, the circuit to be able to touch that so it can intercept it, you wanna make sure that's facing the circuit board, which is in the middle of these two slots. So when you're putting in slot A, you're gonna stick it in just like that, and then make sure you push it all the way until it clicks, and, then, and you'll know it's stuck in there because if you kind of barely tap it, it's not flipping out, right? And then if you push it again, it'll come out, right? If you're putting in one in slot B, it's gonna be flipped up just like this where the circuit board is now facing up, right? And then the same thing, push it all the way in, then you can kind of tap it, make sure it's not gonna fall out, and then that comes back out. So then if you're putting a third one in, it would go in here and so forth, okay? So that's the SIM card installation. After you, obviously you put the SIM card in, you wanna make sure that you get this little door back on there. There's two little notches on the bottom. So you just kinda of put those two notches, notches, you fold it in like that, fold this up, and then put your two screws in there and screw it down. And you should be good to go. It's a little precarious here, but a little bit of a uh, practice you should be able to get it with no problem I definitely re recommend you put this back on it is a little bit of a pain but once you get your sim cards in there you're done you don't have to worry about it again um, just to protect those sim cards protect from getting any dirt or dust or anything in there it's, it's, these are ruggedized units so you want to make sure you're kind of protecting the integrity as much as possible so that's it, so your SIM cards are in, it's now ready to be powered up, and then we should see those SIM cards come online.